Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create buckets. Buckets is a very important aspect of your analysis. So let's say I am trying to create a kind of a bucket for the number of days. Let's say the last the last purchase in days for the customers. I have calculated that and we do have the null values. So first we will take care of the null value. Then we can take care of the range or the budget uh, or the bucket. Another way of doing it is you can take care of the bucket, then you can take care of the null values. Both the aspects are okay and uh, it works absolutely fine. The simple way is to go from bottom to top. Let's say the minimum number of days that you want to see is 5, then 10, then 20. 30 and more than 30. This is kind of a budget uh, bucket that you are trying to create. Let's go into the back end. And now we can create that. The similar code, the same code you can copy and paste in your front end and it will still work. So I'm going to show you from the back end first. Load star and I'm going to close this if as bucket and this is my column name and over to here I am going to say if the customer last purchase is less than equal to 5 then give me 0 to 5 okay I am going to add comma and now we are going to write nested if so I have just copied it the whole condition I am going to add tab paste I am going to say 6 if I do 6 then it is 5 to 6 actually so I'm going to 10 over here so it will be from 6 to 10 logically speaking if it is up to 5 then the next number will be calculated as per 6 or else it will be given this particular bucket then I will just add another bucket which is let's say 15 okay and I will say 11 to 15. In this way, I'm going to create all my buckets over here. So I am just adding some of the bucket values. So it's 15, then I will say 20. I will say 25, 21 to 25. Oops, sorry 25 so this is kind of a very granular five days kind of a bucket and over to here I can specify a simple condition if like this this particular value is null then you tell me nothing or else you give me more than 30 this is something that you can do or just to be safe you can just take this particular condition again and you can just say more than 30 then you give me more than 30 oh, sorry more than 30 or else you give me nothing this is something that you can do this is your if nested if condition so i can just copy this i will reload my data over to here before adding i will just add my bucket and as you can see it's coming the 13 is coming within 11 to 15 range 11 to 15 range and 27 is actually coming 26 to 30 range so it's working absolutely fine if you want to do it in the front end you can go to measure or dimension you can add your code there and you will have the same bucket okay
So you can add the same code, the if condition bucket to the backend because you have actually done all the group by and have calculated that particular uh, difference in days uh, in the backend. So it will work in the front end. So I personally recommend you to take this bucket into the backend that will really help.